Good morning, folks. My name is Dean Reiner, and I tie flies for Dandy at Hatchfinder's Fly Shop. And what I'm going to tie today is a Drake thorax. But the twist is the hook is going to be upside down. So we use a Komodo uh, hook uh, after the uh, time was that all these hooks became scarce and they don't sell them very often in a thousand pack and we tie a tremendous number of flies so we buy it in a thousand pack. So we use that and it's placed in, uh, in the hook uh, vise like a standard dry fly and we'll turn it over later. The, what gives the uh, what gives the uh, the ribbing on this fly? It's a synthetic. I've used all kinds of uh, measures to to make this hackle stem uh, uh, and uh, string and everything, but this. Synthetic quill body wrap, it's uh, sold by Hairline, makes my job tremendously easier. And that I'm always for easy. The next item is going to be from Trout Hunters, and it's a medium done uh, package. CDC, I use a lot of CDC from Trout Hunters. All right, so we uh, use that for the wing. Next item is I bundled together a lot of uh, moose ends. That way I can take them off by a bunch like that and just cut them off. Doesn't have to be three for the tail. This, this fly here, you can use uh, any number of uh, moose biots. Last uh, item is going to be my uh, hackle. And this is from whiting. And that's really all we use is uh, whiting uh, feathers. And it is... Brown, a brown cape, and it's a half cape. Because uh, I can get a tremendous number of flies uh, out, of, out of just one. Okay, to start, I start with a base wrap. all the way down the hook. Right to the bend. Get some moose hair. About a sixteenth of an inch at your fingers. Let all the short ones go. I hold about a little less than half of an inch. Cut the excess off. And this is wrapped in the hook next. And then what I do is I get these quail bodies and God, you can tie five dozen flies out of one package. These are just marvelous. And any kind of a fly you wish to tie that has a quail body, 
Uh, these work very well for that. Can you hold up that? <clears throat> All right. I put this in just below the eye. And run down to the bend of the hook. And then come forward with it and leave your uh, thread close to the eye. Now I got all the uh, uh, straight things on it. I got to take the fly, turn it over, and I'll explain why I do that. Okay. When you're fishing a drake, it's especially a thorax, uh, around here in the summertime, you have a great deal of moss that grows in the river. So I make it to where the hook is upside down, and when I get to the hackle, I flatten it on the bottom of the hook. Uh, so if you have uh, some place to where you got a lot of moss, and uh, you're not pulling the fly in and picking off the moss all the time, this, uh, this makes it a hell of a lot easier for you. So what's next? is I, I get some uh, CDC and I usually use about three feathers. They don't have to be turned backwards uh, on themselves. I just all have them facing the same, same direction. You don't have to be exact on this wing. It's, the reason this wing is on the fly is so that you can see it. You can tie it with a neutral color, uh, gray, uh, brown, black, for whatever uh, drake you're trying to imitate. It's not, uh, it's not critical. The fish recognize this as food and uh, they on it, they're on it pretty good. You want it about, about that far up. Can you show me that again to the, a little bit over, no, nope, just by the hook would be great. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Got to lick it. <laughs> all right, you got them all together, and that is about uh, just shy of half an inch. And I go on the hook about an eighth of an inch behind the eye. Lay this in there. And not too tight on the first one. You don't want it to spin. Okay. Clip off the excess. And tie the rest down. Come back up. I pull the parachute up, tie it in just like a regular parachute. And watch you don't get that hook buried in your thumb because it will go in deep if you're too fast. Yeah. 
standing upright. And I take the uh, 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 hackle stem, and there, if you'll notice on it, there's a black stripe. So you want that to show when you're wrapping the body. You can tie two flies with uh, with this quill. All right, everything's standing upright. You can clip out some of the wild hairs. Now we go to finish the fly. Really simple. This fly is. Uh, You only need one feather to uh, put the hackle on. Dull side forward, dry fly. It's always that way. Stay back from the eye or it'll fall off. And then five wraps behind. Four wraps in front. Come across just below the eye, about three or four wraps. Cut off the excess. Whip finish. One, two, three, four. Okay. Thorax means it lays very flat on the water. So what I do with this is I come straight underneath and nip it off. And you can manhandle this CDC so it stands up on top. And that is it. A little head smit, you're good to go.